Johnson. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today's video is just going to be a really quick video. I had wanted to get the girls their own um, notepads and uh, writing paper because they keep taking mine <laughs> and using it up. And they're into this writing phase right now. So I wanted to get them their own and then like some pencils and things like that. So when I was going to the Dollar Tree to get that stuff, then I was like, why don't I just put together them a whole little case? Um, so they can have all of their things in this case. And then you know me, I'm all about organization. So everything can fit in here and we can take it with us in the car. Um, or they can just pull it out and all of their stuff is in here that they want to use for their writing and things like that. And I also got them a couple other little goodies to put in here. But that's what this video is. Um, I just thought, well, while I'm doing that, I may as well just um, get them a few more things and just make a whole kit out of it. So I just wanted to go through everything that I got for them. It's three of them. We have four grandbabies, uh, four granddaughters. But um, the other one, the littlest one is only one. So she doesn't need one yet. But the three older ones um, are six, just turned six in July. And then um, we have one that will be five in September and one that will be four in September. So it'll be kind of six, five, and four. Um, so again, I got them pretty much all the same, just different colors because they literally argue over everything and one always wants what the other one has. So I try to always make sure that I get them the same thing. I just get them different colors so they can kind of differentiate between whose is whose. And I'm going to decorate it with like some stickers and things like that and put their names on it. And hopefully that sounds like something you'd be interested in. If it is, please stick around. And if you like the video, please give me a like. I'm really on a push to try to get my channel monetized. And I need more subscribers and I need more likes and comments. And I can't do those things without you. So please consider that um, as you watch the video. And with that being said, here we go. Okay, so just going to kind of go through all the separate things that I got for them. I'm going to start with the crayons. I got them these little, everything came from the Dollar Tree except for two things that I will show you later. But I got these cute little packs of crayons, and they all have different ones. Um, so I got this one that says Pearl, Pearl Crayon. So they're kind of like a pastel, pinky kind of color. And then I got these that are neon. They say neon crayons, and they're more like the bright colors. And then I got this one that says Bold and Bright. And um, it has the more bold colors uh, in them. So I got them three different kinds. And so they all have their own crayon. And then I got them all a notepad. So I got three different notepads. And this is what I was talking about because they keep taking my paper and writing on it. So I wanted to get them their own little notepads and they were so cute. And again, just a dollar, well, $1.25. Um, and this one says shine your light. And this one just has a beautiful butterfly print on it. And um, then when you open them up, they have the writing paper on the inside. So they got plenty of pages to write. And then I can just keep buying them uh, these um, as they use them up. But... Uh, hopefully this will last them for a little while at least. So I got them that. And then I got them three of these um, packs of construction paper. And they're all different colors. So I thought that was really cute. So they can also write on this or draw on it or whatever they want to do with that. And then I got them a pack, three, a th three of these packs of colored pencils. And they're just like the plain colored pencils. I don't really like to do markers yet because they're still wanting to cover on things besides paper. So I try to stick with pencil, pen, and um, colored pencils, things that I know I can get out in the wash. Um, and then I got them these cute little pencil tins. This one says, be a kind human, but I thought this were so cute. So this one is this um, design. And then I got this cute purple one with all these butterflies all over it. It's so cute. Let me let you see that design there. So cute. 
And then I got this one that has unicorns all over it. And then I also got them some stickers. So they each got a pack of stickers. I love putting stickers on everything that will stand still and let them put stickers on it. So there's a pack of Ariel stickers. And what I think I might do, no, I'll let them have their own stickers because they literally fight over everything. I was going to mix and match them, but this way I can keep up with who's is who's. Um, and they can share them if they want to. But there's a pack of Troll, there's a pack of Encanto, and there's a pack of um, Ariel um the new ariel um little mermaid the black one so i got that for them and then i also got let's see oh i got them all flash cards and i try to get them flash cards that kind of go with their ages so malaysia is starting first grade she just started on Tuesday, Tuesday, I believe. So um, I got her some addition uh, flashcards because she's starting to do that already in first, and she was doing it last year in kindergarten. So I got her some addition flashcards, um, and I got Ava some numbers and counting because she's the one that's getting ready to be five, and she's been working on that at her daycare that she's going to. So um, I got her the numbers and counting flashcards. And then I've got Aaliyah, who's getting ready to be four, colors and shapes. And then they can, like, share them with each other, and all of them work on the things together. But um, I try to get them ones that kind of fit with where they are right now in their development. And then i got them, uh, I'll go ahead and show these. So I got these cute little containers from the Dollar Tree. I got three different colors. I got a pink a purple and a kind of a like a turquoisey one and I thought this was really really neat it's very simple um, they can close it and lock it and they put all of their things hopefully everything will fit my sister's telling me it's not gonna fit we're gonna see um, and I'm gonna put their name on it and uh, they'll be able to put all their things in here and then like in the morning when they get up after they have breakfast they can just grab their their um, tin and uh, have all their stuff in here ready to go for them to do all of the drawing and writing and everything to their heart's content. So, and I also got the little ones because they're not in school yet. So I got them some books to read. So I have a numbers book and I have a, a day at the market book. And this one's more about like food, different um types of food and stuff, but it helps them learn to read. Uh, so they go along with the pictures and they can point out the things that um, are on the little tabs there. Um, so I thought those were really, really cute. So I got those for the two youngest ones. And then I also got them each um, some of these little Bob um, pins. So I got Malaysia this one. I thought that was so cute. And then I got the other two these, a purple one and a blue, I mean a green one and a blue one. And it has these little bobbles on the top. So I thought they would love that. And they're just pins. Um, they're either blue or black, I can't remember. But yeah, I got them those. And then I got them... Um, I got the two little ones. I got the two little ones. These markers that have uh, eight different colors. In them, so I thought they would love that because that way they only need one. One, uh, I said markers, but these are pens. They only need one pen and have a bunch of colors. And then I got this brand for um, our, oldest, our oldest grandbaby. And this has four different colors in them. She already has one of these. She bought it um, with her birthday money, which kind of gave me the idea to get one for the other two. 
Um, so I'm just gonna put one of these in her uh, little box there. Um, Cause she uses hers, that she took hers to go to school with her. So. And then I also got these cute little pencil sharpeners. Look how cute these are. They're like little fishies. And I figured that they wouldn't hurt themselves with that. I'm gonna practice with them. But uh, I thought that would be cute for them to have in their little thing so they can sharpen their pencils. And then I also got them a pack of pencils and they're like the really girly, colorful, pink and girly colors. So I'm gonna give them each a few colors of the pencils in their boxes. And I also got them some erasers. I'm going to put erasers on the ends of their pencils. And then I got them some of these grip grippers for their pencils uh, just to help them when they're writing and also just to add a little bit more girly color. Now, I was telling you that everything came from the Dollar Tree except for two things. And those two things are these pens that I'm going to give one to Malaysia. Um, so I got this from CVS and I think it was like $5.49 and then I got this book and I just thought this was the cutest book. I've been wanting to get them this book. It was on sale, I want to say for like $6.99 or $7.99 at CVS and um, I just always try to get them books to kind of make them, help them to feel proud of who they are. They are biracial. Um, and so um, I want them to be proud of all of the parts of them. Um, actually, Malaysia is really multi-ethnic. She has a bunch of different things inside of her. Um, so I got them this book to kind of, uh, you know, I'm all, like I said, I'm always trying to find things for them to explain who they are and why they're so special and all the parts about them that they can love about themselves. Um, because I kind of grew up with low self-esteem and I really worked hard with my boys on that. And I'm, now I'm working hard with the girls on really building up their self-esteem and really making them feel proud of who they are and all of the traits that make up who they are. So I got them this. And this is not necessarily for the, the boxes. I'm going to add it to their little um, uh, library that I, a little, I, get, I keep a little basket over here by the blanket ladder. Um, so they can like cuddle up and read books um, when they want to. So I'll be reading this book to them um, soon. And so that is everything that I got for them. Like I said, it's a very quick video. So I'm gonna put everything together and then you'll get to see what it looks like when I'm all done.
Okay, so now we're all finished with the boxes. I got everything in them except for their books. So what I'm gonna do is just put their books in their little um, crate that I have in the living room um, so they can read them whenever they want to. Um, and then these are just the excess um, supplies that I had gotten um, that were left over. And I also used some scissors and some tape and um, these stickers to put their names on their boxes. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so I'm very happy with the way they turned out. I should have got bigger stickers. Uh, I was gonna use these, but I didn't really like the colors. Um, and these colors go better, but they're so small. So I may end up getting bigger letters, but for now it's fine. Um, so I got them everything all nice and organized in there. Everything fits, uh, everything that they need. Um, and you open it and that their um, pencils would not fit in here with the, um, hold on just a second, with the erasers on them. So I just stuck the erasers in there. Um, and then when they use the pencils, I'll sharpen them for them. And then we'll put the erasers on them when they're using them. And then um, they can put them back in here when they're done. But yeah, I was happy that everything fit in here really, really neatly. Um, and we can swap out things as they get tired of stuff or run out of things. But I really like the way that they turned out. So this one's Ava's. She loves blue um, slash green. Both of those are her favorite colors. So I thought turquoise would be perfect for her. And this one is Malaysia's. And we call her Yasia sometimes. Uh, I call her Yasia Boo. <laughs> But um, she loves pink. She is the girliest of all the girls. And so um, I got her a pink one. Um, I tried to get most of the stuff. As you can see, I try to coordinate the boxes with all of the things that go in the boxes. Um, so we can just remember whose is whose. And then um, Aaliyah, and we call her Lily. So I don't know if you can see her name, but it says Lily. And um, I got everything for her in this one, and it's purple. And she doesn't really care about colors. Um, she just likes bright colors. So I thought this would be cute for her. And they all can have their own different ones. So there they go. They turned out so cute. I'm very happy with it. And I mean, if you add up everything that I spent, let me see. Everything was a dollar. So this was a dollar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. And the pencils were a dollar ten. The pens were a dollar. So I think about fifteen dollars for each box. Um, and I think this will be so great to just grab and take with us when we go in the car. Um, or if, like I said, if they want to just grab their boxes and go sit down and play with them, um, I think this is a great idea for moms who want to create some little on-the-go boxes for their little ones. So that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. And um, consider subscribing, becoming a member of the All About Alex family. We would love to have you. And I hope you have a very wonderful and blessed day. Bye.